based on a request from one of my viewers who said they needed more help when it comes to promoting Amazon affiliate links on TikTok and the words of the great Michael Scott, your I need you to is my request. I'm actually going to show you how to promote Amazon affiliate links on TikTok step by step. I'm going to show you what to do if you have less than a thousand subscribers. I'm going to show you the right way to do it. I'm going to show you some examples of what people are doing incorrectly. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn the right way to promote Amazon affiliate links on TikTok. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt, and as a successful affiliate marketer, I've made money with everything from stand mixers to sound bars, microwaves. Uh, online courses, and even security cameras. If you want to learn real affiliate marketing tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my free unemployee cheat sheet. That cheat sheet will teach you how to make money online with affiliate marketing in just four steps. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. You want to promote your Amazon affiliate links on TikTok, you see people that are absolutely crushing it on TikTok and you want a piece of that pie. You see all of these videos about you know things you don't need on Amazon or Amazon finds. And so there is a lot of opportunity out there and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first let's take a look at some wrong ways to do it. And this channel right here, for example, uh, Lucy Massad, I believe that's her name, 296,000 followers. She's basically posting about different things that she's finding over on Amazon. And when you click on her link, it takes you over to Linktree. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Linktree. She actually has a link over to her storefront. I'm not a huge fan of Linktree. Things can happen, but you can see this is one way to do it. This actually, if she's linked directly to her Linktree account, this could actually work out really well. Another example here, we have uh, Maxine Ellis, I believe that's her last name. You can see once again, it goes over to Linktree. In fact, it has this little thing where it wants us to confirm, but you can take a look and see this goes right over to Linktree. There is a better way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it without 1,000 subscribers. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get a product, and I just picked a random product. This product was on my front page of Amazon, so I figured let's just use it. It's right here. This is a flex pressure washer gun. It's, you know, $53. You can do this method with, with anything. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go out and find a product. The next step is to if you don't have the product, you don't need the product, but if you don't have the product, you want to try and find marketing material. For example, the manufacturer actually put together a video. You want to try and grab that video from the manufacturer's website. Once you have that video, you can download it to your computer and then you can use something like Canva to create a video. There's two steps that are really important. The first step obviously is to create the video so we can go video here and then we can do something like mobile video. For this example, we're just gonna grab uh, this image of a pressure washer. Uh, let's see, we wanna make sure that you are grabbing approved images. So we're gonna click on images here. No, we can go to tools and click on usage rights and go to creative Commons. These are, these are images that are free to use anywhere. They don't have any, but that's fine. We're just gonna go to all here and we're just gonna grab this one just as an example. And I'm just gonna right click, save image as, we're gonna say test tool like this, and we are going to click on save. That's gonna download to the computer. We're gonna come back over here to Canva, and we are going to put that image into Canva. Now you can do the exact same thing with a video. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna obviously right size this, and we could say something like best tool for gas pressure washer or best tool for uh, electric pressure water pressure washer it doesn't really matter and so let's come back hip here we're going to put this at the top in my opinion this is key to getting started you want to have your hook at the top and then your call to action at the bottom we're going to talk about the call to action in just a moment but you can see something like a uh, best tool for um pressure washing okay now obviously spend a little bit more time making this look a little bit better but for the purposes of this video this is actually going to work out very well so we could say best tool for pressure washer or pressure washing like this and then this is what's really important if you have less than 1000 subscribers or 1000 followers you cannot have a link like these people here they have a link because they have more than 1000 subscribers if you don't have 1,000 subscribers yet, and even if you do, I recommend that you put your domain name at the bottom of all of your videos. For example, if we look at my videos here, if we look at my profile, 
I add a call to action to all of my videos. Uh, let's click on this one right here, for example. You're you're probably doing marketing wrong, but you can see here the fix, alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. This is for people that may feel like they're not getting enough leads and sales with their affiliate marketing business. And so if that is them, they, they this speaks right to them. Okay, I'm doing affiliate marketing wrong and I want, I want to know what the fix is. This will send them over to my landing page where I collect their email and I offer them assistance. So in my opinion, this down here is incredibly important to your success as an affiliate marketer. And so what you need to do, and this is the second most important step, is you need to go out and get a domain name and web hosting. Now I'm gonna put the second link in the description to my number one recommended domain name and web hosting provider. If you are marketing, if you're serious about affiliate marketing, you need to have your own domain name and, and web hosting, okay? That, in my opinion, is non-negotiable. If you don't do anything else, you wanna have your own base of operations because let's say, for example, TikTok shuts my account down. If I'm just marketing on TikTok, I have to start off from zero. However, if I have my own base of operations where I'm getting traffic from TikTok and YouTube and, and other places, that won't hurt as much. Obviously, it would hurt, but I'm not starting over from scratch. So click the second link in the description and get a domain name and web hosting. And for this example, I'm just going to use um, alstongodbolt.com because that is easy for me to remember. So alstongodbolt, uh, godbolt.com forward slash pressure. Now you don't have to do it this way. I'm gonna show you uh, another way to do it as well. So what you can do, if you do it this way, you can create a URL redirect, or you can create a web page that will, when they go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash pressure, it takes them to a page where you have a little bit of information about this pressure washing tool, and then they can have a link and buttons and that will take them over to Amazon. So that's one way that you can do it. Um, if you want to help get organic traffic later on in the future to this page, this is the best way to go. So anytime you create a new TikTok video for a different product, you would have a new a new uh, URL. So this one says alstongodbolt.com forward slash pressure. If I were to promote an actual something else, let's say this hose here, I would have a brand new URL that would say alstongodbolt.com forward slash hose with an image of this hose. So that's one way to do it. A second way to do it, and probably a much easier way, is just to have one URL here and then have it set up so that you have different buttons or links like this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second, but it's up to you to decide which one works best. If you wanna try and drive organic traffic to your website and web page eventually, you want to have the different URLs like pressure or hose. If you don't care about that, if you're just looking to get as many eyeballs on your site as, as possible, you can do alstongodbolt.com like this, okay? And so in just a minute, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create these different web pages really easy. And so now that we have that, you can add in some animation if you wanted to. So we can click animate and let's just do this one like that and you can see. If you want to, you can add in another page and maybe add some, some features and some benefits, okay? Once you're done, you are going to click share. You're gonna download this to your computer or phone and then you're going to upload it. I recommend that you upload about three videos per day, three to five TikTok videos per day. And again, you wanna make sure that you decide whether to do the URL, so alstongodbolt.com forward slash pressure. And then you have, uh, and then each blog post that you write will have a different URL. You can do it this way, spell pressure wrong. You can do it this way and this will work. Most people don't wanna go through this extra step. And so they're just gonna have this straight domain name like alstongodbolt.com. And when they either type this in because people do type it in or they, once you eventually get a thousand followers or subscribers, they're going to go to your, um, they're going to go to your bio and they're going to click on the, this one right here. It's not actually listed for me, but um, they're going to click on your URL and it can take them to a page that looks like this. So let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. What I did is I simply created a, a page over on, on WordPress. Okay. 
WordPress I recommend is the fastest way to get up and running with something like this. And I just named the, the URL Amazon finds. Okay. And so that's step one. Step two is to make a, make columns. You'll see a lot of, a, a lot of Amazon affiliates over on TikTok do it this way. So we can do, um, let's do 333. So 33%. What you'd want to do next is come back over to Amazon. I'm assuming that you have site stripe installed and you're just going to either click on text and image image or text. And I showed you an example of each one. So this is just the image. This is the image and text. And then this is the image with text that I added in. And then I also added in a URL. So let me just show you how to do that real quick. It's real simple. So if you were to do it this way, which actually I think looks the best, we would come back over to Amazon. I just copied the name of the pressure washer gun like this, went back over to my page, hit the plus sign. Now I'm using Gutenberg for this. You don't have to use Gutenberg. It's all pretty much the same. And I went heading and I just pasted this in and then I centered it just like that. Then I put the plus sign here like that. And I added a image. No, I added the custom URL like that. Come back over here to site stripe and I clicked on image and I copied this URL. Now you can change the size of it if you want, but then I came back over to this like that. And then if I click on preview, you're going to see this is how you make it. It's really simple, really easy, but you want to make sure that you decide which way you're gonna go. I recommend to not use Linktree. If for whatever reason, Linktree no longer offers a free plan, you're kind of stuck. Um, in my opinion, this is the best way to do it. And then just let me show you how to do this link because if they click on this, this link here, it'll take them over to Amazon. So if we come back over here, we can do the plus sign just like this. And then we can say paragraph, we'll say uh, check current price, oops price on Amazon, just like that. And once again, we're going to center it. We can press this URL here, uh, this link creator, come back over to Amazon. Once again, we're going to click on text and then we are simply going to copy this. Now, again, I'd recommend that you do this three to five times per day. The really the only decision you need to, to make is, are you going to create individual pages or are you going to do this? Which I, I think, most people will do it saves the most time that you're going to have all of your finds in columns now if you wanted to you could probably add a few more columns but this actually probably looks the best it's really simple um it doesn't get much easier than this you come over to amazon find different products however you find them you can you can do something like gifts for men like this and you could actually use amazon as a search engine and then you could actually put a list. You could put an entire web page together and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Come back over here. Uh, let's get out of there. We could do something like, uh, let's go add new. Now I'm in pages. I'm not in post. I'm in pages. And we could say something like uh, best gifts for him. For example, come down here and we can add in just a short paragraph here are the best gifts for any man just like that and we'll get rid of that like that and then we can let's add a new page here like that or add a new section and then once again we're going to just do columns and then we're going to pick the one that we want obviously and then we can just go back over here to amazon and then you can go ahead and grab this now what i would do is i would actually change this to average customer review and you can see that there's all sorts of stuff that you could recommend. That's really it. It's the, the hardest part is going to be finding videos, images, uh, if you don't have the product. Now you don't need the product um, and you don't really need the image as long as you are creating compelling content. But you can see this is actually a, a better way to do it. Um, and there's a number of ways to do it. You can create a single one page website using the second link in the description get domain name and web hosting and make sure you put that domain name and web hosting down here. I'm just going to put domain name, domain name here so that people can see it and you can start getting traffic even if you don't have 
1,000 subscribers. And then when people log off of your, they'll, they'll leave TikTok if you've created compelling enough content and they'll just type in your domain name just like this. They'll come over and type in alstongodbolt.com if I could spell my name correctly. And then they're going to come to that page. For you, it would be this page right here. They see the pressure washer that you talked about. They're going to click on it. And then the cool thing is, is that you can earn a commission on anything that they buy within 24 hours and assuming that you're the last click. Um, the other caveat to that is sometimes people will, will click on your affiliate link, they'll leave and they'll click on someone else's Amazon affiliate link and then you don't earn the commission. But it doesn't get much easier than that. Guys, comment down below if you have any questions, but hopefully this answered the, the primary questions that you had when it came to actually uh, getting people to click on your affiliate links over on TikTok and, and a little bit about promotion. If you need more help with affiliate marketing, I recommend that you click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my free unemployee handbook. That handbook will teach you how to make money online step by step. Go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to learn more. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.